Hello and welcome back to SnowRunner with me, Mark from DadX. I noticed after we finished recording the last episode that right here is a contest. It is to get the load on that single load trailer of service spare parts down to the port. And we may as well complete it. Um, there's no final time limit if you see what I mean. So we'll give it a go. What I thought actually is we've been down to the tanker and refueled, which we would have had to do anyway. So in a, in a way we haven't wasted time. But we might have enough fuel left in this for the fleet star to grab it. I need to check the mission to make sure I'm allowed to change vehicle. In many you are not. So we're going to attach the trailer and try to get this down the hill. Now luckily it's down the hill. So we'll see how that pans out. I wasted a minute then because I had to check the recording levels on the sound and found there was no way unless I exited the, exited the game to stop the timer even if I paused it paused the Xbox the timer kept going so it doesn't matter we're not in it for the money or the glory it's just kind of getting it done while we're here but we seem to be doing okay I'm not really sure how this is going to go these trailers are really hard work in the mud when I had a quick go with it oh we've got he lost control of the Hummer there. So we're we going straight down the hill. Just keep going. Keep. It's quite frozen, it seems, this ground. So I'm just going to check I am going the right way here. Yeah. The Fleet Star's right here. So if we can switch vehicle, we might do that. Because I don't think we need the Hummer. He can go back to the garage if we can get through. It's the trailer that it itself may get quite bogged down. As you can see, there's just no clearance on the trailer. It's just running on car wheels. There's not a lot here. Oh, we've got a winch point over there, but it's a very flimsy looking tree. We are kind of moving under our own steam. I'll try that higher gear ratio, but it doesn't make a lot of difference. Oh, we've lost. Oh, we've got another winch point. What's that one? Oh, that's gone. We're running out of winch points. Right, let's detach the trailer. Get ourselves moved, if we can. We haven't detached the trailer, have we? Yeah, the trailer's just glitched through us a little. Ah. The trailer's kind of pushing us. We've actually got a winch onto a bit bit more of a sturdy tree no we really are running out of winch points come on anything to get us moving apart from that we don't go backwards no visible winching attachment points technically we're still moving I'm gonna go back into the regular gears and I'm gonna try the whole side to side hope we're not stuck are we moving? We're moving ever so slowly, but it is moving, so I'm going to take it. You never know, we might get into winch range of something. What have I just connected to? No, the trailers... The trailer pushing might not help. Sorry, it might not hinder. It might help. Are we still moving at all? You never know, it might help. Is it worth getting dragged back at all? Is that going to make any difference with the traction? Oh look, we've just got to get over this hump. I think technically we're moving. Well, I've given it my best shot and I've tried everything I can think of. He seems to have uh, just... I don't know, is that moving? It's not, is it? Oh, it is. It's moving at like a pixel a minute. We're flying along now. <laughs> Come on. No. Sooner or later, we must get into winch range of something ahead of us. <laughs> oh. That looks good, that looks good. We need to kind of hump up a little bit. We can get up a little bit, maybe to the right. I don't know. Come on. Come on. Where's that winch gone? No, leave the winch alone. 
Look at this. We're burning a lot of fuel. <laughs> I think the fleet star is literally around that corner. I'm not going to stop the truck to check the map now because momentum is our friend. Oh my word, we found a tree. We found a tree. Let's just get over here. Right, get the trailer. Trailer hopefully will find a nice route through the ruts we've just made. Didn't take too long, I guess, but we burnt a lot of fuel. Is it worth attaching the trailer now and then just using the winch points? Let's find out. Can we get back far enough to do that? No, let's get going down the hill a bit. Just do it like this. Do we need to... Maybe winch... No, we're going, we're going, we're going. Let's look ahead of us. The Fleet Star's over there. We've got 40 litres of fuel. The Fleet Star's going to do this better than we can. Are we allowed to change truck? not allowed to change truck right we'll keep going if we can we'll get the trailer reattached now on we go Right, I'm just going to check the route. We've got not enough fuel, so straight down this road, straight down there, straight down there. Jobs are good and all downhill, I hope. So, the Hummer is doing very well. I thought we'd need, I nearly gave up there, I must admit, guys, but there you go, you don't give up. Don't give up. The couple of minutes I put into getting myself out of that mud hole, or well, no, sorry, the snow hole, was infinitely quicker than resetting and getting in another truck. Persistence, definitely. If there's movement, that's what I found in this game. If you are actually moving in the direction that you need to be, even as you saw there, like <laughs> one pixel a minute, keep doing it. Right now, we're flying. We're over 10 minutes, but luckily... Having done this just off the cuff with not the best equipped vehicle. No disrespect to the Hummer, but it does need diff locks. But we're going to get there. We'll get some money. And it's a little bit of completeness. And we have done a mission with one of these trailers, which I'd kind of written off completely and assumed were useless. But the day we had to use one... It did what was required of it. We've used 10 litres of fuel, I think, to get down here. If we use 10 to get back, will that be enough for the Fleet Star to get down here? Oh! Is there a truck store here? Let's drop this off. There you go. 90 XP and a bit of petrol money. Not to be sneezed at. Is there a truck store down here? There isn't, is there? There is. I can get a little fuel trailer. And sell this one. So that's what we'll do. So this little corner of the map has worked out reasonably nicely. I'd envisaged, I had envisaged having to um, do a bit of to-in and fro-in to get some fuel. Now, we'll refuel ourselves first, because that's always good. Yeah, I thought we might bring a Tega over or something like that and take over take a takeover but that seems to be unnecessary if we can get this trailer back to the fleet star oh I'm completely no absolutely not trying to cut down there <laughs> no risks taken right now at all sorry for that pause I had to open the door Oh, look, I like the way the trailer's doing its own thing at the back. It's got quite a bit of weight to it. 
let's see how badly that messes us up when we need to turn down here. We're going to take it easy. The only things you're likely to wreck your suspension on in this game are safety barriers, ironically. Right, keep going, keep going, keep the weight going, keep the weight going. Try to be good. There you go. We're flying. He said as he stopped. It is quite a weight, these trailers, and again, there's very little ground clearance. They're quite a lump. We're ploughing our way through here with no grace whatsoever. There you go. Lovely, very aggressive from the Hummer. We miss that mud. Do we want to miss the mud? Sometimes this, that looks better than the mud. And we're close to the trees, that's got to be good. But we're still moving, we're still moving. Look at that. Churning it up. Got to get a screenshot out of that, haven't we? Oh, whatever that is, is very solid. We'll have some of that. Looks like the ground's getting a bit harder up here. There you go, we're off. We need to turn left. Once we're through this last section. What are we going to do then? Right, the Fleet Star can now head back around the map with that load of metal beams to clear the obstacle. So we have, and we'll see on the map if there's anything we can pick up and move on the way. I wish we had a crane, but we don't. If I can, I might just pick up a load on the back anyway, nip down to the port and stick something on the back of this truck. I think one pallet in the kind of the front slot on the back would help, right? So we need to refuel. There we go. The Fleet Star is fueled up. We for now will stop our engine and put on our handbrake and we'll change truck. And uh, are we still hitched? We are. Get the engine fired up and off we go. just enough of a gap to get past perfect I think we'll get the diff locks on to get going yeah I'm gonna head down to the port and just grab a load there I think it's gonna help definitely think it's gonna help we've got quite a big hill to get up at some stage come on turn baby turn Oh, we're getting into the quite soft snow. But we're getting back out of it. I think then we'll lose the diff locks down this section. So we don't bang them. Nice little turn of speed. Through the wet bit. Get those diff locks on for this bit. There you go. Till we get going again. There we are, I think. Now we'll keep them on. We're not. You know, just as I said, we'll keep them on. We're not picking up too much speed. I was clearly told I was very wrong. We'll give the Fleet Star a rest once it has completed this mission. Or this journey, I should say. We'll get the Tager out. The White Western Star. We haven't got the big boys out here in the snow yet. Must be their turn to frolic. Right. I'm going to... The journey down here has been absolutely fine. We'll just get our wheels on the tarmac. And we'll have a pause. 
right map so down at the port I could pick up consumables oversized right consumables I could just stick one pallet on are there any missions that's the one we're doing lost tube we've got to, the tube is out here somewhere isn't it yeah that's not relevant is there anything here bricks and a concrete slab to the next map that's locked anyway are these all locked still yes so what missions can we do fire in a barrel two fuel to the port not now oil delivery not now Drilling parts delivery. Nope, we haven't even got down there yet. So there's no mission we can help with from down here. That's the way it seems anyway. So we'll just head around. But I am going to nip down here. I'm going to get one pallet on here. I'm sure. We'll have a quicker journey round, just maybe take a moment just to do this. Before, right, we're going to get one, no, no, one consumables there. It'd be perfect. That's all we want. All we want. There you go. You can already see we're accelerating better. It's handling better. So, there you go. I'll prove my point. To myself, at least. To my satisfaction. Yeah, that feels so much nicer. I know I'm on the road and I was on mud before, but even just the drive down to the port was uh, different to this. It just felt completely different. This is nice. This is a uh, pop to the shops driving. Uh, there we are. Yeah, I definitely recommend if you've got to pull a trailer with a heavy load on it, then get something on your truck. That's today's lesson, right? Let's just ooh, check. I think we're just flying straight down this street past our garage and up to there. No, that's our garage. What's this here? The service hub. Right. I feel like I'm risking a speeding ticket at this stage. <laughs> but I haven't seen any cops in the game yet. We are the law. We're the only emergency service that seems to actually be doing anything. We're not all oh, crikey, is that trailer going there? <laughs> there is a downside to going very quickly on an icy road, right? There you go. Backed off nicely. Didn't brake then, I just backed off the throttle. Oh my word. Sorry, tyre. Yeah. <laughs> Feel free to take it a little bit easier than I have. There's our friend, the Lodestar. How in the way are you? Just a minute. Where are we supposed to be going now? Yeah, straight up that street. In fact, I think I was going to send the Lodestar... Load... I'll start that again. I think I was going to send the Lodestar round with that exact trailer to bring the fuel to the Fleet Star. So, there you go. We saved ourselves that. The benefit of having a bit of money available is that you can just grab the fuel trailers. I've never been in a position though, or near the position where I was actually skint. Apart from the very, very, very early, early game. Where you had, had to wait and get the money to do stuff. But Do check though that you haven't just got trucks you're not using with lots of expensive parts on them. There's no point in you having a bits in storage in effect that you could be using right this doesn't quite feel right just a minute <laughs> no it is right sorry I thought because the the pipe on my right made me think I might be over here for a moment but obviously not we're on the right track quite literally get those diff locks off Get a good head of steam. Feeling good now. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
There you go. That for me was very gentle and controlled, I think you'll agree. Right, with the completion of this, I think we can kind of say that we've completed phase one of this map. We'll get some different trucks out and uh, take it forward from there. I'll have some money, thank you. It was that actually, so let's cut that route out. So there always was another route round to that, but a long way round, I guess. And maybe quite a rougher way round, I don't know. We've been up here. We've been through there. No, it's just shorter in principle. It's road. Maybe for the big fat loads, this is going to be the route we want to be taking. I'm just going to get this guy out of the way. What on earth is that? Oh, it's the barriers are literally just collapsed here. All right. Seems like a good place to park. Stop that engine, handbrake. And I've got one load of consumables on the map in case we need it. But that's something we're going to look at now, I think. A little bit of forward planning. I think I've mentioned it before. Okay, my friends. As you can see, I've got a little team together. We've got the White Western Star with a cargo carrying bed and a trailer. We've got the Tager up ahead with the high saddle. And we've got the load star with a fuel trailer. If we look at the map, and we orientate it in the way we are familiar, we are heading down here. We've got two missions which involve this little place down here. One is to pick up this semi-trailer, hence the Tager, and take that back to the port. The second is to pick up four parts of drilling spare parts which I hope are four slots but we'll see and that's what the white western star is going to get and they need to go to the factory which is up beyond the port beyond the swamp where we've been before so we'll deal with that the route there when we need to we'll cross that bridge when we come to it how about we put it like that now we could have taken there is a shortcut from our garage here right over this mountain basically which looks quite high uh, I didn't even look at that route. We're going to just go round. I'm hoping when we get down here, well, we'll see. I've no idea what we're going to find. We haven't been down here, so let's get cracking. Now, the idea is, I'm just going to move this guy forward a little bit, that the Tager's going to tow the White Western Star through here as much as possible. And uh, if I change to the right truck, that is, we may be able to accomplish that. There we are, right. Off we go. <laughs> We're off to a flyer, that's okay, we don't need that tree. Right, let's see what lies ahead of us here. Into unexplored water over road. I can't see much road now. Doing this totally blind couple of telegraph poles over here but there's lots more trees over on the left so we'll just go straight through here well that's getting quite deep is it worth trying to get up to the edge it's getting very deep the white western star is now pushing us along we're going to release the white western star Let's winch ourselves up here a bit, see if it's any better over here. Slightly. We can always bring the trucks through here separately. I have put the um, advanced winches on both these trucks, so they're both extended and high power. Just actually having any good effect getting the white western star through that really deep puddle maybe we didn't take the best route through this section but let's get cracking i'm sure we'll be fine <laughs> lots of trees lots of good sturdy trees i'm not sure we might scout around here with the load star a little because we 
going to be bringing loads back through here. Maybe there's a nice solid path. Or if you know, let me know in a comment because I'm no doubt we're going to be finishing this episode before I get anywhere near coming back here with loads. Right, let's switch truck. Let's get you going. We're going to lock your diffs. We're going to lock everything. We're going to find a nice tree up ahead of us and pull. So yeah, it's going to be a bit of a winch fest. But there's definitely enough big trees along here spaced out well enough for us to make it across it looks a lot more solid just over there but that of course remains to be seen but it's very wet through here very very wet indeed no not the tree the truck come on we, we can't really, we are moving the truck along. When you pull on the witch, winch, it stops the Tager dead. But we're getting, there you go, it's saving us a bit of time. And I think, oh, there we are. We're out of the ick. I don't know. Having all those trees along that side makes it a kind of the safe route. Might not be the quickest. But we know what we're getting. Right, what we've got ahead of us here. Telegraph poles, a few trees. Doesn't look too sticky down here. There we go. That's changed gear. We're going so fast. Splendid. Yeah, coming back. We'll see. But this road's pretty solid. That seems to be the main issue. Icy doesn't seem bad, it's the moist. Quite wet on that side of the road there, so we'll remember that hopefully on the way back. Stay on the inside of this bend. Right, we're down onto the coast road, which is a straight run now, all the way to our objective. The like icebergs or snowy rocks out there. I don't want to find out. We're getting there, we're getting there. Definitely quicker than doing it once with one truck and then again with the other truck, I'm sure. But this looks cool. I'm just going to look back here. Got those telegraph poles for when we bring the loads back. We've got those winches. I think this is the map of win winching. Obviously we've used the winches on the other maps. Where are we? That just kind of cuts round suspiciously. Suspiciously in that I think there might be something hidden around there that we might want to see. But the lodestar can do that bit. Hey mate, you're right. No, just don't let too much cold in, please. So onwards. There's a detour. Why is that a detour? What's going on around here? I guess we could expose yet another collapsed bridge yet. A little bit of a camber going on, but nothing dangerous. So what do you reckon, icebergs or ice-covered rocks, guys? I'm sure, I don't know, icebergs, no, of course they float around in the ocean. I was going to say, wouldn't the sea be a bit more frozen? Okay. Now this bit coming back is going to be a little bit of a chore with a camber going on here. Very few winch points. Plenty of traction but that looks quite dodgy dodgy to me through there we'll see what the load looks like when we've got that if it's a high load of a high centre of gravity we could be in for some shenanigans look we've got quite an angle going on here 
Whoa, what's, oh, there's a big rock. I didn't see that rock at all right in the middle of the road. So that detour... I could nip round there in the Tiger, couldn't I? I shall... We'll go, no, we'll get on, we'll get on. There we go. We'll go in the Tiger, because then... if the, Yeah. Assuming nothing weird happens in here. It saves then having to even bring the Lodestar round, doesn't it? But there might be something hidden. I've yet to see a, a route on a map that didn't have some kind of reason for it. Very deep looking snow. Oh, somebody also gave me a hint in a comment that I might want to make a point of getting to that tower we haven't discovered because uh, there may be, hint, hint, something hidden in that little sliver of map that hasn't been uncovered. Is there absolutely nothing here? Or are you screaming at me about the thing I've just driven past? No, there isn't, is there? I really thought there'd be a truck or something hidden around here, but no. It's a reasonably passable route. We've had no trouble getting around there, but... It seems to serve absolutely zero purpose. Oh well, I'll get back to round where to where we were. <laughs> and I'll see you there. What I think the detour is going to do is cut out let's see what's over here is this the bit with the mad camber yeah this might be a bit of the journey we want to cut out once we've seen what the load's like this point right here look at that is uh, very precarious angle wise yeah maybe that's what the detour is for we got through there about too much trouble there's that one bit of deep snow and there's that rock that we didn't see the first time round there you go, missed him and there you go, we're back in the room so I think there's too much further to go I can see some kind of building up ahead So whether it's worth even checking the route over the mountain, which I think, does that include that mountain we can see over the back there? That can't be a viable shortcut. Or is that off the other side of the map? I'm not sure now. Right, again, tow points, we've got the nice, the telegraph poles are reasonably regular. And we will have the two trucks to kind of mess with on the way back and jiggle around a bit. To use a technical term. Is this going to be... I reckon this truck's going to be happier in this gearbox anyway, actually. Even if we can't get the same high speed. Right, we're here. Oh, there's rock, rock, rock. We are at Wolf Grip. So that's the end of the shortcut over that. It is over that mountain. How That can't be a very good route for me taking cargo, surely. Right, so somewhere here. Oh my word, is that the trailer we've got to get back? Look at that monster. That's like the construction trailer. Right, let's get this boy sized up. Oh, hello. Pleased to see me. I'm back a little bit too far. Trailer's too far away. Oh, wow. I can already feel that's got some weight to it. There's no way we're getting that past that rock and round that bend. Right, that's what that detour is for. I'm going to stop the engine. Let's get over in the White Western Star. 
and we've got room to get you turned around up here before we put the load on so you want four loads of drilling spare parts was it that maybe we should check let's see there may not be too many options available here make it simpler for me eh right drilling spare parts there you go four of those so these are our loads um, and we've seen the route but we're going to call it an episode there i think this is the perfect place we'll be back very soon to see how we get on with this epic voyage i may i don't know off camera i'll probably have a look over that mountain but i can't imagine particularly that semi getting anywhere over uh, over that kind of route but leave us a like if you've liked it any comments or suggestions are always welcome your feedback is very valuable to me subscribe if you want to stay in touch and for now take care of yourselves and as the sun sets and it gets very dark here in alaska i'll just say goodbye <laughs>